Hello, this is Paul Shear with InformedCIO.com. Today we're going to be upgrading the host code on our enterprise server from 8.96 to 8.97.1.1. Just to review what we've done so far, on our deployment server we've applied the planner ESU, we have upgraded it to uh, tools release 8.97.1.1, we have installed server manager and we have uploaded the par files for the HTML code and for the enterprise server code. So the first thing we're going to do here on our enterprise server is we're going to install one of the agents for the um, server manager product. So to do that we're going to connect to um, server manager on our deployment server which is SC LAB DEP 10 port 8999 forward slash manage I'm going to go to the management dashboard we're going to look around, act like we know what's going on, try to find the spot we download. Oh, management agents. All right, we're going to now select management agents. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to choose the operating system appropriate for us, which in this case is Windows. But of course, we're going to run the agent. Now, just one thing to mention here, uh, when I was playing with this earlier, I ran into some problems. You've got to make sure that DNS is appropriately configured and will resolve for fully qualified domain names. If it does not, you, when you attempt to install the agent, it will fail. So once again, uh, JDE Home, standard Oracle naming convention there. I'm going to type in the name of my deployment server, SCLABDEP20, as this is the location where I have the software installed, and port 8999. No, say it ain't so. Oh, oh, minor detail. Deployment server 10. Deployment server 20, that was our 8.12 lab. Okay, try this once more. And install. Good sign. Getting to creating an installer means that we were successful. Okay, we're going to say finished. Okay, we're going to manage and we're going to go to services. And we're going to scroll down and verify that it did successfully create our uh, service and that it is running. It's this right here, SM Management Agent. And it is started. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to deploy out our software to Lab ENT 10. To do this we're going to go to Manage Software scroll down, select Enterprise Server, or uh, Enterprise 1 Enterprise Server, and say Distribute. It's going to ask us where we want it to go. We're going to tell it, and it's going to copy it over to the server for us.
Okay, it has uploaded the software. We're now going to go back to our management dashboard, go to Lab ENT 10, and we're going to create a new managed instance. And you can see the software has been loaded to that server. and we're going to patiently wait. Okay, and now it's going to default in the information from when we initially configured the box. Alright, we're going to say continue. It's gone and saved our information and now we're going to tell it to create an instance. And it shows us we are running version 8.96.2 currently. We're going to tell it to stop doing this. So we're stopping the managed instance. Now this is going to correspond with stopping the PSFT service over on ENT10. Now we're going to go down to Software Components, click Change. We're going to tell it that we want to change it to our new version. It's going to change components for us. Uh, you can't hear this right now, but the hard drive is furiously working. Alright, our upgrade is done. <laughs> Tell me that's not sexy. <laughs> we are running 8.97.1. Go to processes and we should see a bunch of kernel jobs out there now. And there we are. This has been Paul Shearer wishing you a great day and hoping you watch our next video in which we upgrade our instance of WebSphere to Tools Release 8.97.1 via the magic of Server Manager.